Mr. Brad Ball here is going to be making us a lovely recipe a little bit later on. But before we get to that, okay, if you're ever thinking about entering any Budavors making competition, there's a few things you should know. You can't just go about and make a Budavors like you see Absolutely, fit, right? Absolutely, yeah. Budavors is um, uh, it's very specific about what you're putting into it and uh, and, and uh, what you can call Budavors and what you can't call Budavors. Okay, so, I, I had no idea when I when I read about this yesterday. I was like, really? It's There's so many different technical aspects yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it, it, it has to be made from specific... Um, uh, um, cuts of meat, or not cuts of meat, but specific meat being uh, cow, goat, sheep, or pig. Okay. Can't be made from anything else. Um, uh, if it is, it can't be called budovors. It has to have specific amounts of meat and fat ratios, yeah. and it can only have 10% of spices, salt, seasonings, vinegars, and sometimes cereals, um, which are not necessarily fillers, but more like binders. Yeah. Um, so it's very specific. Anything else that you see on the shelf that isn't called budovors, if it's called bryvors or bry sausage, it's not budovors, and, and it doesn't sort of uh, adhere to those standards. Standards. Okay. And I, yeah, I was I was very stoked that there was there's an action there's a foodstuffs act that tells you that that is what it is and what it can be and yeah you know, that that for me is great that we we kind of get into those sort of European standards. So. I like it. I like it. Okay. But, so what do we have here in front of us? What so what are we going to do? We, we're going to make a a bourgeois style a Crabeau style um, bourgeois. Obviously we're not okay. going to fill a casing, but very very simple. Get a coarse ground beef. A Crabeau um, style. A Crabeau style. So okay. What so does that entail? A Crabeau style means that it's got top notes of coriander. Okay. And uh, and cloves. So um, you will have different types of. Uh, of, of Borovos, you'll have Cedarburg, Camille, Freistart, um, all of them. So <laughs> they all contain different different amounts of these spices. Yeah. But Grubo style has top notes of coriander and clove. Great. Right. A little bit of nutmeg as well. Right. And then uh, a little bit of white pepper for, for a bit of a bite. Okay. White. Oh. There we go. We can pop in a Lovely. touch of salt. And that's as, as so. If you would like to make your own Rabo style Buddha Vosch at home, you can just SMS the keyword Vosch to 33728. That's W O R S. Very, very easy. We'll send you on the shopping yeah. list. And a touch of vinegar. So and a little then, bit of water and a touch of red wine, red go. wine vinegar. And get in there with, uh, with, with my hands in a second. So here we have make. three different styles. Three different right? styles. Yeah, that's it. Oh, right. listen to that. That is the sound you want to hear yeah, early in the morning. Absolutely. That's all <laughs> you want to hear with Buddha Vosch. Yeah? You want to. Cook them, but you don't want to, you never want to sort of dry out your voice. Yeah? You want to make sure that you're still nice and moist and That's juicy. Right, so what we've got here is um, a Creveau style bourgeois filling. Obviously, if you had a, uh, a sausage filler, you get a casing from your butcher yeah. um, for for the thicker cut. It's known as a 32 um, long, and then all it is um, that is uh, it's basically the intestine which you use as your casing. Exactly. Um, and that's it. So, so right here, I mean, that's 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 as simple as that. We've got now a flavored, a Creveau style flavored oh. mince which uh, you can fill with a, you know, a casing, or you can use that and make meatballs, um, uh, which we're going to do just now. Oh, are you going to make, what, what, what are you actually making? Right, so we're going to be making a, um, uh, a meatball uh, linguine, but we're going to be using um, sausage filling as opposed to going through that whole process of actually of making, ma of actually making, um, uh, of making the, the, the meatballs. I like it, quick right. and easy. So we've got a couple of tastes. This is the, um, uh, this is the Crabeau. Okay. All right, there we go, and this um, is the uh, is the Cedarburg. Cedarburg is a, a, a very well-rounded sausage, so it's yes. got all the all the all the, it's the same spices in, but very well-rounded. Um, and then we've got a Camille Durin, which is which is quite spicy, and it's got a lot of white pepper, which is dominant in it, and coriander. Right. So it's all about the balancing of the flavors, but yet conforming to those specific rules when it comes to what makes a Buddha Borsh exactly, a Buddha Borsh. Yeah, but my definitely. favorite, I must say, is, is the Chrobo. So I'm going to taste this little boy over here. Definitely. Yeah? Cheers. Mm. Nothing like a Buddha board early in the morning. Stay tuned. Also, that's really hot. <laughs> Stay tuned. After the break, we're going to make a delicious recipe. You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. It's at the All Seasons Milk Factory where we found goodness produced on a daily basis. Pick and pay. Always there for you. Welcome back, you're tuning into Espresso here on SABC3. And today we're getting creative in the kitchen with Budavors making the most delicious recipes. And Mr. Brad Ball just gave us a lesson on what actually makes a Budavors a Budavors just before the break. But now we're going to use that to make a spicy spaghetti meatball dish. Here we go, oh. exactly. And so it sounds as, as opposed to going through the whole process of making, uh, of making meatballs, um, you know, it's much easier. The, your bourgeois is really seasoned. It's got all the flavoring, everything, all the herbs, the spices, everything you need in it. And yeah. We do this as a midweek dinner at my place, and it's very, very quick. It's literally in 10 minutes, and it's done. So um, just make sure you've got some warm uh, pasta, your favorite pasta, linguine, spaghetti, whatever you need. Okay. And um, uh, just straight from your bourgeois, we're just going to basically squeeze out uh, as big as you want them, you know? Okay. Squeeze out these uh, these little meatballs like this. Oh, look at that. And goes, yeah, so, so yeah, you've got an instant meatball. And don't worry about rolling them and getting them all perfectly round. Yeah. You know, we, we don't... We don't we don't need them to be perfectly ground, and when it's like this, it holds on to the sauce, 
a little bit better. There yeah? we go. So um, uh, don't worry about perfect sort of uh, meatballs. We want something nice and rustic. That simply goes into a pan, and we're yes. going to cook that for about sort of uh, four or five minutes until those are uh, are cooked through. And don't season right at the beginning. We're going to season right at the end um, yeah. uh, because you know, we, we know that sometimes brewers can be quite salty. Exactly. So uh, rather, you know, just hang on to it and, uh, and don't do anything. Right. So once we've got that out and that's busy sautéing, we'll get to this stage and we'll, that's it. we'll have them beautifully and browned. And, um, which they look, they look browned already, fantastic. which is great. And, and, and you know, that caramelization, that's, that's all flavor. Yeah. So every time you brown something, you want, you want that because that builds flavor. All right, we're going to go that's in it. with a little bit of, a couple of slices of garlic. All right. Perfect right. stuff. Now, if you want the recipe for this, you can just SMS the keyword VORSCH to 33728. We'll send you on all the uh, Pick, -a -pay, the Pick -a Bay shopping list that you need for all the ingredients, as long as there's a link to the recipe. All right, it'll help if I switch your pan on, eh? Or your Here stove. I'm going to move it over to the other side uh, <laughs> we'll in just move a second. On that side, all right. right. And then we've just got some tomato passata, which is just basically minced tomatoes. All right, cool. All right. So let's get go. on over that side. Yeah. Okay, so minced tomatoes. Hundreds. Um, and we're going to let that cook down. And basically, all we've got to do now is warm this through. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Yeah? And then we're going to get a because little like bit you of see, black You don't want to overcook the vorse as well. You don't want to overcook the vorse either. Yeah? Brilliant. Oh, that looks so yummy. And I can imagine this is yeah. nice on a cold winter's evening as well. Beautiful. Absolutely. You know? And you can do this as a baker as well if you wanted to. You know, like a, an al forno pasta. So you yes. can put some, uh, some penne or something like that. And you get this in and you bake it in the oven with cheese over, over the top. Right, Brilliant. So um, uh, when that comes to... Uh, to the boil, we're just going to add our basil, and again, don't you know, don't don't worry about chopping it and cutting it. Just rip your basil in. That's it. What I like about it is really an easy dish that you can put together in in, in literally a couple of minutes. As long as long yeah. as it takes your pasta to boil is what it's going to take you to make the rest of this. So so exactly. most dried pastas you're looking at about seven minutes. Which so yeah. so under ten minutes midweek um, dinner and uh, you know we just serve this in a big sort of family style platter. You know put it on the middle of the table. Everybody helps themselves. Oh lovely and it was just great if you had a long day. You know you don't have much time with the kids at home. You can just. Oh man, you can just whip this together. Remember that Absolutely. keyword once again, Vorsch to 33728. And uh, we'll send you on the pick and pay shopping list. All right, so how are we cool. looking on that stuff? Right. We... There we go, yeah, that's it, we're done. We, we're pretty much ready to plate up. Great stuff, so let's go for it. Right. But while we plate up, if you have missed any of the uh, steps we took to create our beautiful little <laughs> spicy dish this morning, check this out. Combine minced beef, coriander, cloves, nutmeg, pepper, vinegar, water and salt. Leave to stand overnight, then roll into balls. Saute meatballs in oil until golden, then add garlic. Add chili and passata, then heat through. Stir in basil and season, then serve on spaghetti. And there we are, just finishing it up. Really an easy dish to create. And look at that. It just shows, it shows you a simple dish, yeah. doesn't necessarily need to, to, to look horrible. You know, look at you, styling it up nicely. Absolutely. Some beautiful fresh parmesan. And that, oh, the smells, especially the basil as it just went in there. Beautiful. You want to add that right at the end so it really stays beautiful and fragrant and lovely and mm. flavorful. That's it, seven minutes, dinner straight from Borovort. And I love it. Very creative idea, Brad. Thank you so much for coming You're through. Welcome. Once again, that keyword Vorsch to 33728 will send you on the shopping list. You can make this tonight. Why not? Because it is quite chilly. By supporting businessmen like Sibusisu Chabalala and his Berry Hill Trading Company, that's where we found goodness. Pick and pay.